think about the recent comments that we've heard from Fed officials. We heard from the chairman earlier this week continuing to characterize the economy as strong, as solid, really building up this notion of a very positive assessment of where the economy is, as well as where they expect the economy to go. Now, of course, the Fed does not have a fantastic track record in terms of the outlook over the longer term, 12 to 18 months. But if we do take the Fed's comments at face value, it certainly justifies their move in September, as well as further perpetuates the idea that we're likely to see a fourth round increase at the end of the year and three additional or potentially more uh, rate increases as we turn the corner into 2019. Now, again, our expectation is that the reality of the economy as well as inflation falls short of those more heightened expectations, making it difficult for the Fed to follow through with the pathway. But the, uh, the market at, at this point is believing the Fed's willingness to continue to push rates not only to that neutral level, but above that neutral level between now and the end of 2019. Lindsay, as an economist, what are the most important data points that you are watching? What, what is it that factors the most into your modeling for how the economy will do? Is it something like the jobs number today? And if so, what within the jobs number would you be keying on? Well, certainly the labor market is a key driver of the economy. But within that labor market report, we're going to be focusing on the wage component. We are a consumer-driven economy. And if the consumer isn't happy and healthy, able to go out into the marketplace and spend on discretionary goods, keeping the economy afloat, well, it's going to be difficult to justify maintaining even this two and a half ish percent economy, let alone meeting expectations for an above-trend pace near 3 or 4 percent GDP. So it really is all about the consumer and the consumer's ability to spend, which falls back on the consumer's income growth or that wage component. We have been seeing a little bit of upward momentum in terms of earnings, but we're going to need more data points sustaining that positive trend to really get a good sense that the consumer is on improved financial footing. At this point, there still is a lot of volatility. And if we were really talking about a strong, robust labor market with a sub 4% unemployment rate, we would easily be talking about three, three and a half percent wage gains. So we really need to either see that continued upward momentum or start talking about maybe measuring joblessness in this country in a different fashion to, rectify, excuse me, to reconcile those two figures.